guys and welcome back to Shelly Vlogs and I want to thank everybody who asked me a question on the Instagram post I put up on the vlog channel. I'll actually link the Instagram account for this vlog. So guys, it was an outstanding amount of questions. I did not expect that many questions so I'm literally going to be picking the top favourite and I have clips as well for people who asked for an update on August and Trouble and Mage. For anyone who doesn't know Trouble, Trouble is August's sister. They celebrated their one, uh, their first birthday, um, the 15th of August. So um, myself and Shauna went and got them some beautiful little treats and things like that. And I do have like little a little thing I did for his um birthday and I will pop that in too. So let's get straight on. And so the first question I got was from Sharon and Sharon asked how many siblings do you have and what is your relationship like with them so Sharon you've been literally one of my top commenters uh, from the moment I started up my channel so of course I am going to be answering any question that you ask me <laughs> so I have exactly three brothers and three sisters um my relationship with them is all different but they're all good relationship um, like all siblings, if you don't live in the same area, you um, drift apart a little bit. But when you get back together, it's like no time has passed. Um, so yeah, I've got three brothers, three sisters. Love them all so, so much. And have absolutely outstanding love for every single one of them. Um, and I wouldn't change a thing about our relationship. So The next question I was asked was by Tiffany. Um... We don't see much crafty videos. Um, will you be doing any more? Now I'd love to be tagging these up here, but the questions are so tiny. Um, you wouldn't be able to ask them, but I am reading them off the phone and I have written down some as well. So um you will still see crafty videos, but um I will not be uploading them onto the vlog due to the fact that I want to keep the Sunday slot for meal prep, um, house cleans, stuff like that as um, I have a plan and I want to kind of stick to it that way but I will be putting craft videos up on the Instagram account. There is a new one going up very very shortly. It's a project that I've been working on. Um, it's a shrimp plastic jewellery and I've been working on it for a while so um, if you want to see that video make sure you actually uh, are following me on Instagram as well so that you can keep up to date with all of the crafty projects as well um, with it being my favourite season autumn I'll be doing a lot more autumn uh, crafts as well so that'll be being popped in I have a new idea for a, a necklace for myself it's um, it's it's obviously it's autumn themed so um, of course I'll be uh, doing crafty videos on the what is that, IGTV um, so I'll be popping it all up there so if you still want to see my crafty videos make sure you are following me on Instagram and if you don't have an Instagram account then I will actually find somewhere um, where I can uh, share it to you or you can follow a link um, okay so next is from Sylvie um, what is your proudest moment since becoming a mum hmm well, that's a tricky one there's a lot of them I literally keep an album of all of my proudest moments uh, since becoming a mom um I think for me the first time I felt that whole big bubble of mom proudness um was when Shauna came home after um a busy day in senior infants um and read a book Read a whole book. Um, now I know the books aren't big from uh, primary school, but um, this was the first time she had sat down and read out loud to me. And we work on her reading now practically every day. Um, her mum does reading with her as well. Um, Louise, now her other mum, does reading with her when she goes over to her house. And um, it's 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 good to, to have that kind of backup as well because reading is such a big part of any child's life and adult's life I'm a bookworm um, I I would prefer that she be reading um instead of on uh 
you know, Nintendo Switches and Xboxes and stuff like that. As you can tell, I don't have them. I have a PC, so therefore my gaming is on the PC. Um, but she plays a lot of games on her phone. And I don't want any stink about the fact that she has a phone. All right, it does not have a SIM card in it. Okay, so um, I want no nasty comments about the fact that an eight-year-old has a phone. It'd be different if there was a SIM card in it. She uses it so she can watch YouTube, restricted access to YouTube, and all that. So no nasty comments, no hate, okay? We don't like them on this channel. Um, okay, so next question was, could we get an update on the canine family? Yes, you can, of course, get an update on the canine family, and I'm going to pop it in right now for you. Your mama. Okay, so the next question I thought was very funny, but I'm gonna answer it anyways. What do you keep under your bed? <laughs> Why is someone interested about what I keep under my bed? But hey, here, let me go show you what this is. is bed of course Let's, right. this is what I keep under my bed so right now it's just literally shoes just shoes and of course my Marilyn Monroe biography I'm hiding it because people keep trying to take it and then these are the little woman's birthday presents um I know this is kind of a spoiler because she's probably going to see this video anyways but once things are wrapped, she doesn't touch them. So that's how you do it. And that's what's in my yeah, bed, so guys. The next one, I didn't even have to think about because of the fact that I've been dreaming about this for years and years. And I know someday it'll come true for me if I work hard enough at making it come true. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? I absolutely love Ireland. Um, I am one of the most proudest Irish people I love staycations I, I would vacation in Ireland but um if I had to choose I would live in Hollywood um Hollyhead anyone who knows that my third vlog on this um channel was a travel vlog where I went over to visit a friend after a death in the family um but I had vacation over there a few times um and every time I go over there, I find my zen. I'm, I'm calm. I'm relaxed. Um, I'm a better parent. I'm, I'm a better friend. I'm a better person, because I'm not stressed out about every little thing. And over there, I'm. I am the real. I, I don't. I don't know how to explain it, but. That's my zen place, and I can be the real me over there. Um. I'm as real as it comes to when I'm on the vlog, but in everyday life, um, I find it a little bit harder to let my personality out and I feel like I have to hide my my real personality. Um, I have days where I could literally be so down the dumps that um, every little thing makes me cry. Like uh, yesterday, for example, um, today being um, Saturday when I'm recording this, um, it was a Friday. I was just getting up off. We have this really old chair. It was my mum's. Um, it's been moved around so many times that I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Um, but I just got up yesterday and um, it broke. Yeah. Of course, all these kinds of emotions coming in. I held it together long enough to walk into my brother's room and the, um, I broke mommy's chair. Can you fix it? And then I cried. And like, you know, boys and crying girls, they're like, they're like a fox caught in headlights. Is it a fox they say it or is it a deer? It's something. But they were like, he was just like, it's okay, I'll fix it. Don't cry. Don't need to cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. And I'm like, I need to go for a walk. 
um but we all have them like we all have mummy burnout we all have um days where we can't control our emotions and unfortunately it's the people that we live with that will get them um i hide a lot from uh a lot of people um although my sister my little sister mary did ring me the other day and um just by uh, on the phone instantly knew something was wrong with me so i don't like the fact that she can read my mind i don't like that um, but she instantly knew something was wrong and uh made me feel better about the fact that i was having a day like that and like my my sister louise was the same um i didn't tell my other sister because she's going through some stuff out by herself at the moment but like my thing is just like where i need a few days to reboot and i'm fine after that i deal with it i move on i draw i knit i sew i'm i have a project for myself at the moment to get finished for christmas as you all know i'm into florals so i'm doing myself a nice big quilt okay moving on um nice question who is your top three favorite youtubers okay straight away claire siobhan um, Tiffany Beeston and oh it's a toss between Fixella and Lauren Seaside we could put that in number three um, Fixella um, was the first YouTuber I started watching when I started watching YouTube um, she plays Sims uh, content but she also does a lot of puzzles now and she has her own vlog channel now which is awesome um, but she was actually the first YouTuber I started watching and she's the one who inspired me to start doing sims 4 on my gaming channel now i have stepped back a lot from my gaming channel because i'm like constantly tired <laughs> when i'm doing gaming and uh, my sleep pattern is all over the place and like i know a 36 year old woman so yeah i said old instead of 36 years young Um, i feel old because my sleep pattern is all off but i'll be fine in a few days okay so we're moving on to the best friend section and no feelings are allowed to be hurt in the process of this, okay? Outside your sisters, who is If I, I had to say, like, they are my best friends. I, I would turn to them if I couldn't um, cope here because like not having sisters live where you live is actually harder than people tell you they are when they're growing up. So, um, yeah, they're, they're my best friends. Um, but uh, my sisters, um, they like I think they have become we've become closer, um, that we actually call each other best, uh, that we're best friends. Like um, it's like it's a really strong kind of connection. Like where if one of us fall out with each other, our hearts feel like it's gonna, you know. Especially mine, I hate fighting. I hate it. If you could change one thing, what would it be? Hmm. That's a bit of a hard question, actually. If I could change one thing, what would it be? That I had spent more time with my mum and dad. In the last few years, I didn't spend a lot of time I remember I wouldn't have been fighting with my mum up to a month before she died we wouldn't have been fighting that's the one thing I want to change that's the only thing I want to change because mums and daughters shouldn't fight now, I say that obviously because I've lost my mum and I don't understand. Sometimes I don't understand why mothers and daughters fight, but then like in some cases I do understand it and I support the kids 100% because I love them and I've known what they've been through. So sometimes you do have to take a stand and uh, sometimes you get into the wrong end of stuff and become the object of their new attention. But hey, let's move on. So I'm going to be a round session. Okay, so the final question I've written down here is the last film you watched and did I cry at? The last film I watched uh, would have to have been last night and I watched Eat, Pray, Love. And it's one of my favourites. 
and I do watch it when I need an inspirational movie. Um, Julie Roberts is my queen. I love her. Her and Sandra Bullock have been my childhood and my adulthood. I love them. Um, so I pray I love. And yes, I did cry when she was trying to find herself, but she couldn't. And she couldn't forgive herself for walking away from the marriage and she couldn't forgive herself for walking away from so much. But she had to find, she had to be happy with herself before she could be happy with anybody else. So I freaking love the movie. I love the book. Um, anytime I need an inspirational woman, hey, just look up Julia Roberts or Sandra Bullock and you'll find one. Sandra Bullock's 12 Days. The 12 Days. The one where she's an alcoholic or addicted to pain meds. Uh, that's one of them, sorry. But yeah, I cried at that movie last night and I cry nearly at every single movie I watch because for some reason I always go for the movies that have the big deep feels. Um, I'm not going to talk about them much more because I feel like I'm getting emotional and I don't want to get emotional on camera. Okay, so... um. Keep going. I've answered them. Um, do you have a good relationship with your grandparents? And this is from Robin, uh, one zero zero seven. Oh, Robin, I have an absolutely amazing relationship with my grandfather. Um, he is my last grandparent. Um, it's it's kind of inspiring actually. He's outlived. Every other grandparent is that the best way to say it? and unfortunately outlived my mum and my dad so he is a true inspiration I I can't express how much I love him it's um the thought of him even being sick or in pain actually hurts me physically and emotionally I'm getting choked up talking about it but um I love him um, I've learned so much from him from my childhood to my adult years. Um, I have learned about resilience and this and he's one of those men that if he knows you're going through an emotional kind of thing, surprise, he's living best to be there for you. And uh, hello, we're meant to be there for you. But he is absolutely amazing. Shauna absolutely loves her great granddad. And um, with me going through so much right now and doing work on the computer near, nearly every day and of course I was out and um, I have an update soon on something important that um, I haven't been able to get out to see him but um, I will actually be going out to him tomorrow which is Sunday the day you're watching this um, but I do I think he's so strong he's amazing he's powerful and I I'd be completely lost if he wasn't here anymore. So, um, I'm just gonna leave it at that and move on. All right, so the final question I'm gonna to answer today is actually one that my own kid wrote and actually popped on. We have a little Instagram account for her, but it's private, so I won't be popping those details up. Um, she asked me, what do you do when you're bored? <laughs> ah, she'd know this. <laughs> um, so, but I will actually pop it out there. I knit, I draw, I create things, I, if boredom is gone beyond the phases of knitting isn't helping or drawing isn't helping or anything isn't helping, I go for a walk and I watch. The moment I'm on a Buffy binge, uh, so I watch Buffy, I've just finished the whole entire seasons of the last the last man standing and the last episode of course was it was obviously covid and the girl they had staying with them she was going to go home and sometimes somehow he talked her out of it but she said if it gets any scarier then she is going back home to her father and he said he'd go with her so like it's cool that they brought it over onto shows, but you can only go you want to disconnect from it all and stop. It's, yeah, the world is scary, but I'm hoping we come out of it soon. Uh, so yeah, um, that is, I think I've answered nearly every question that I'm comfortable answering. All right, Robin asks as well, what is the top 10 things you want to do before you retire? Girl, 
I ain't, ain't never retiring. And plus I do everything I want to do now as it is. Like the big things you have to save for. Like um, I really don't want to go to Disneyland Paris. Um, but I'll make it. I'll make that happen. I want to travel. I will make that happen. I want to spend more time with family. I'm making that happen. Uh, when I can. Um, I want to finish my book. Yes, I'm writing a book. I actually want to finish it. I get, I get two or three chapters done and then brain shuts off. I get writer's block. I try everything to inspire it. I've been writing this book for about two years now, so it'll happen. And hopefully when it does happen, I'm able to share it with you guys because you've been here from the start and I absolutely love you. And I want to thank you for all of the new members that joined it, the vlog family. Welcome to the first Q&A. I'll link my Instagram so if you ever want to ask questions in the future, feel free to answer them. And anyone who did ask me questions, I will be answering you personally as well. But guys, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing Sunday. And I shall see you guys all next week in another vlog. And yeah, that's it.